Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the exit try statement and if we have time we'll also be talking about the throw keyword. So what the exit try statement does is it's basically like any other exit statement like exit sub, exit for, or exit do. All of those will exit the current uh, statement that it's in. So let's say we'll go ahead and type if index is greater than or equal to let's say my array dot length and I think it's minus one so if it's greater than or equal to my array dot length minus one what do we want to do we want to exit the try so let's go ahead and run this And if we did this right, um, it's going to exit the try um, before it prints one. I was hoping it would exit after it prints one, but you, you still get the uh, idea of what it does. It will just exit the statement, and it will go past this catch statement right here. This It will not see this, and it will go to the line of code that is right below it. So it goes below the end try and runs whatever code is right there. Now... Uh, exit try is a very simple concept, just like any other exit keyword. So what we're going to talk about now is throwing new, throwing exceptions. So we'll just type um, if index is greater than or equal to my array dot length. What do we want to do? We want to throw. And you can see here that the description says throws an exception within a procedure so that you can handle it with structured or unstructured exception exception handling code so this will just throw the exception before the exception actually happens so if an exception is about to happen let's just throw one right here and we'll handle it down here in the try catch statement I mean in the catch statement so we want to create a new exception and we will throw an index out of range exception and for our parameters we can add a message. So we'll just say um, okay so we're gonna throw a new index out of range exception and it's gonna say you retard don't try to access memory that isn't there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch that exception. So we'll type index out of range exception and for our code we will just show that in there so ex dot and what we're gonna do instead of two string we're gonna get the message for that so it's gonna show our message that we typed in right here so let's go ahead and run this you can see that when we click add all it's, it says you retard don't try to access memory that isn't there now the message will not show up if we just do ex dot two string. So we'll go ahead and run this, and it's going to give us the same stuff that we did last time. And it looks like it did show up. It says uh, system dot index out of range exception. You retard. Don't try to access memory that isn't there. So it gives us the type of exception, whatever message that is thrown with that exception, and then it shows us all the information about it. Uh, sorry, I thought I thought that wasn't going to be there, but uh, it was. So if you do two string, it's going to show you the information and the message. Now it's more, um, it's better coding to just show the message to the user, uh, so that they don't have to see all of that stuff right there that they most likely will not understand. Now, sometimes what you can also do is throw exceptions just to get yourself out of some code. Um, I wouldn't really recommend this but sometimes it is a valid way to get out of code so let's say uh, you're doing an operation and if something happens in that operation you want to throw a new uh, exception and you just catch that exception right here and just leave that blank and what it's going to do is going to exit whatever operation you're doing right there and then come down and start at this line of code now you can also have multiple except multi multiple catch statements um, when you're throwing new exceptions and you can throw exceptions um, anywhere you want in your program, but 
just keep in mind that it's going to make your program crash. Um, so let's say we'll go ahead down here and we'll throw new exception. And for the message, we'll type, hi, I am an exception. So for this to actually show up, what we're going to have to do is right click on try catch and click build. So we're going to need to run the debug, uh, not the debug, we're going to run the release. So if you head over to your Visual Studio 2010 uh, live uh, project folder right here, so we got libraries, documents, Visual Studio 2010 projects, here's our try catch project. If you go to the project and then you go to bin release, you'll see your program right here. Go ahead and open that up, and this is the release form of your program. It doesn't offer any debugging capabilities. So if we go ahead and click Add All, it says an unhandled exception has occurred. Now this is built into Visual Basic, and it handles exceptions for you so that they, the user can either continue uh, past the exception or quit. And you can see that the message right here says, Hi, I am an exception. And that's the message that we sent to it when we threw that exception. So we can just go ahead and click Continue because nothing bad is going to happen. And we can go ahead and close out of this. So go ahead and uh, practice with the exit try statement. You can also practice um, throwing exceptions um, in your program or in your try statement. And uh, once you're familiar with that and you're not going to forget it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.